Good evening, everybody. I am DadBot. Tonight, we have been getting super heavy into Celeste Chapter 9, and uh, my friends and I on the official I am DadBot Discord server, links in the description, have uh, been looking and looking and looking for all of the neat little hidden things, Easter eggs, and um, I've come up with a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to present to you, but before I do, I gotta state the obvious, spoiler warning, if uh, you don't want to see what's about to happen, avert your gaze, pop this video in the watch later section in YouTube, uh, but if you are cool with checking all this stuff out, let's get ready to go, I hope you enjoy, let's rock and roll. Now, first and foremost, if you have Everest installed, like you want to play some mods, you have the ability to enter debug mode with F6. You can teleport to any room you want. And as you can see in the very first room, the developers left us a little message knowing that they know that we can get into it. And uh, it can respawn right on debug mode. We see beautiful intro car. Um, but the, the fun thing with this is normally you would see Granny and then you'd have the really sad cutscene but you can see with this, it doesn't trigger yet. I see you've discovered debug mode. <laughs> so that's great. Love it. And then when you get over here, it's just sadness. I don't know about you, but that hit me super hard. I was not expecting that. Wasn't expecting it to start that way. Moving on. Now, this next part here was actually originally discovered by Reddit user Diney. Um, once you uh, break the electrical box, you can take the jelly over, grab the double dash refill, and make your way up to the top before obviously getting any of the keys. Um, you have to hit this jump just right, bounce off that uh, corner there. Obviously, see, I did not, uh, but it allows you to get up there. And if you throw the jelly just right and grab the, uh, the red booster, you can jump up, grab it, dash up again, and you will land here. So instead of the uh, vertical ascent uh, cutscene, it allows you to go over to this little uh, part right here. And there's a whole nother room. Now this room actually isn't very difficult at all, uh, but this is an excellent speedrunning strat just to avoid all of the keys. And I think they, um, <laughs> I just love it. Like, you know, the... Uh, the developers decided, you know what, someone's going to try to do this. We may as well make it worth their while. And I love that they did that. So that's a really cool part. And now we get to probably my favorite song in the entire chapter. Hmm. And now we're moving on. All right, so at first I had literally no idea what this was all about when I found it. But uh, obviously, leave it up to the uh, Celeste community members. Uh, I know Luke had uh, played a big part in this. Scoreless Pine put some cool stuff together too. As you can see, this is uh, the very first teaser they gave us. But uh, once you grab this feather, instead of following the path of the bird, we can hang left and take a quick detour up here. And we find this house that's just nightmare fuel. And I had literally no clue what was going on here. <laughs> but uh, you leave it to some smart people and they will figure it out. And uh, they actually put some really, really cool stuff together. Uh, so I want to pull that up for you after we're done listening to... Yeah, that. Just haunting. All right, Luke put together a really awesome Google Doc about this. In Chapter 9, there's a secret room that you can find in the last level of Event Horizon. The room name is G-06. There's some audio which only plays in this room, which can be turned into this spectrogram. And we see the picture of the spectrogram here using the audio from that uh, Nightmare Fuel Kevin room. Uh, at the bottom of this spectrogram, the phrase not so empty can be seen written in cursive. This seems to correlate with the text from the fake Crystal Heart in Chapter 9, Empty Space, along with the track of the Farewell OST titled The Empty Space Above. Along with the audio in this room, there's a spectrogram scrolling across a screen which looks like this. A purple heart can be seen in it, which could be a hint to something, but it's currently unknown what this is a hint to, if at all. Additionally, by making the image 10 times the size and turning it into audio, you Using a program called Coagula, this audio can be heard, and it sounds like this. 
seems like a good idea to look into the glitch decals of chapter 9, and I hope to see more for that in the future. Now this next part here, I don't know why anyone would ever be looking for this. Like, they, they had to have just expected people would be screwing around with debug mode and uh, found this little room. Obviously you can see it requires a perfect demo dash right through those spinners to get into this little part. As you can also see, I am I am not good at demo dashing. I've never been good at demo dashing. And then this room here requires two consecutive <laughs> demo dashes. And you, as you can see here, you have the, the spacing is perfect for it. Uh, I'm sure at some point in time, that'll be a good speed running strat, but yeah, I don't know. Let's keep moving. Now I want to get a little into how the Moonberry is collected. You've you've undoubtedly at least heard about it or seen it at least in the um, in the achievements. And I wasn't gonna show you the exact strat in the final room. Um, I don't want to spoil that too 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 much. But uh, obviously, once you break this, the the progression would be to go to your right. But if you continue back towards the left, you can see that a lot of the pieces uh, that you just kind of saw floating about were left there uh, for a very specific purpose. And if we continue to climb, and we will, we will get up to, um, and you'll see here in a few minutes, a really, really, really cool room. Uh, this ascent is actually pretty fun. Not a lot of uh, room for error here. You know, it's just like really, really, really interesting because, you know, when you're going through this part, you're kind of just looking at like, I guess you don't necessarily even pay attention to all the stuff that's uh, just floating around and then you just realize there's actually a ton. And it, it's really neat how they made all of that work uh, to put this all together at the very end. But it's definitely, uh, oof, it definitely made the ascent worth, uh, worth your time, uh, because the challenge that this has is, is crazy, crazy, crazy. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too deep into the Moonberry challenge. That's gonna be, um, that'll be for a different video when I run my full playthroughs. Uh, I do plan on showing that, but I kind of want the game or the DLC to be out a little bit longer, uh, but this is kind of a, an idea of how it starts. This is actually, <laughs> it starts with like kind of a troll, I think, because, you know, you go up, you zone, and it's like, okay, was expecting something else, and then you're right back where you started. And there's like one spinner just sitting there, glowing, looking ominous. And then you die and oh, respawn. What? Yeah, and once I got to this spot and started playing, it was just super, super impressive to see like what the developers did to make this. This is like such an awesome challenge. I love this. Like I said, we're going to stop it right here. I don't want to give too much of it away. And I died. So that's also why. I was very disappointed to find, uh, after doing this, I did my original run through. No secret here. None. Bummer. I was hoping for something. All right, video credit to Diney on this one. Uh, this was actually really neat that was brought to my attention, especially for speed running. This is the heart door skip. As you can see, if you're not fast enough, that thing is just gonna crush you, but if you hit it just right, beautiful. And we are moving on. All right, the next part to this is uh, the golden strawberry. And I obviously am in assist mode. You will not see me attempt the golden strawberry. It's, it's so insane. I died over 2,000 times just beating this. But I do know that as we speak, there are people right now attempting the golden strawberry. And I gotta tell you, like, someone's gonna do it. It's just going to happen. Like, it, 
absolutely will 100% happen. Someone's going to be the first one to do it. And I want to buy you a present. If you, uh, you know, if, if you are the first person to get the flying gold strawberry, you just let me know. Intro car! <laughs> Guys, look, it's intro car. That is great. Um... Yeah, if you were the first person to Golden Strawberry this and you have, like, video proof, did it on stream or something of that nature, just let me know and, and I got presents coming your way. 100%. At least one present. Now, as you can see, like, this this actually takes a while. I didn't think it was going to take me this long to uh, just go through it like this. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind, if you uh, do this on assist mode, uh, you know, obviously put invincibility on, but one thing won't, well, yeah, mm, invincibility does not protect against that. So, we're just going to do that all over again. That's great. I love it. Can't wait to do that again. So I guess this is a good time right about now to... Uh, to just invite you, if you haven't joined yet, we have our own uh, official I Am Dad Bod Discord server. We got a bunch of people in there. Good discussions. We do a lot of uh, obviously Celeste discussion with uh, the game mods. We have a bunch of other uh, games for. I'm a big Nintendo fan, so you'll see a lot of stuff with that. So if you haven't already, the link is in the description below. Hop into our server and uh, come on in. We got a lot of friendly folks in there. Um, also, if you're not a member of the channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got all kinds of great Celeste content continuing to come out. And uh, obviously, once uh, we start getting mods related to Chapter 9, you can bet that I will have all of that here. And it's going to be really, really awesome. So on that note, let's get back to where we left off. Now, if you don't mind, we're just going to go ahead and fast forward to uh, near the end. Now, one really unique thing happens when you are carrying the golden strawberry. Normally, once you uh, break the uh, little electrical box at the very end, it uh, you hop in the battle and booster, and it takes you up through the cutscene. But when you're holding the the golden berry it actually triggers something totally different and I thought this was crazy when I saw this and we're about to check it out so instead of the chapter being over and you collecting that beautiful golden strawberry uh, you are now teleported somewhere very different and this just blew my mind when I saw it because it's like okay I have played chapter 9 a hundred thousand times to make sure I was perfect to get this golden strawberry and now you're telling me this isn't the end that did not collect the strawberry Ooh, that's rough and I thought as much but I figured I'd give it a shot once you take assist mode off and you're no longer invincible and you happen to die yeah you start at the very beginning yeah that's a big big feels bad but gotta go big or go home and since I figure the majority of human beings to ever live from now till forever will not golden strawberry this so I figured I would uh, just include the solution in the video because the only way most of us are going to be playing it is debug mode, but uh, at least this gives you the chance to kind of check it out. I went through debug mode and I obviously went play it. You don't see a golden strawberry. Um, but man, how bad would that be just to get this far only to uh, lose it? Because the amount of practice you would have to do uh, just through chapter 9, never knowing that this existed because you'd have to get to that point uh, to see it, only to have a one in a million attempt thwarted. 
but I do love the end. This makes it all, all worth it right here. Ready? Glorious. Glorious. And with that, your golden berry would trigger, and we hit the final cutscene. All right, the last thing I want to look at um, before we let you go is just the ending sequence here. Uh, I, this was great. I loved this. The animation was beautiful. I love, I love the artwork that they do for this. Um, so obviously it opens up here. Madeline's in her room. You can see some pictures. Madeline with her mom. We see Granny. We see her vinyl collection, her Kindle, some strawberry tea. Um, now Theo is calling. We see um, her record player, obviously very nice. On her desk, some plants. I see those pride flags. Very nice touch. Now, you know, there's actually been some pretty good discussion about this. A lot of people um, are thinking that Maddie might be trans, which I think would be really awesome. We'd have our first trans heroine. Um, and there's actually some good evidence to support that. If you look on the previous screen, Maddie laying in bed, there are some photographs at her nightstand. Uh, one in particular, she's uh, a picture with her and her mother, but looking a little bit closer, it might actually lead you to believe uh, that theory is correct. Uh, either way, you know, she's in full support, which I think is really awesome. Uh, but if she is, what if it's Theo? That she's supporting. Hmm. All right, we're going to skip forward a little bit here to the very ending sequence before we let you go. Um, you know, when I finished my playthrough of this, I totally missed this little touch here. And I think I was just overwhelmed. Like, one of my favorite video games of all time is finally over and uh, it was kind of a bummer. But down at the bottom, we can see here Celia and Carlos. Granny's uh, real name is Celia. I think that's really kind of a neat little touch. Kind of bummed I didn't see that in the very beginning. Someone actually brought that to my attention. Uh, <laughs> but it's all good. And uh, that is going to be it for tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I also hope this isn't the last uh, we will see. And this isn't all of the uh, the hidden... Uh, parts in chapter 9. If you happen to come across something that this video did not find, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know in the Discord server. I'd love to uh, find a whole bunch more uh, hidden things in chapter 9 so I can make a follow-up video to this. Uh, but that's all for tonight. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Until next time, have a good night.